The Give Energy All-in-One was originally released to take on Tesla Powerwall 2. And when it came out in 2023, it had almost identical specs to the Powerwall 2. It had the same 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity with an AC coupled inverter, and it could even do full house power cut protection and came with its own version of the Tesla Gateway, which Give Energy nicknamed the Give Gateway. In fact, it even looked somewhat similar. On paper, however, there were a few areas where it beat Powerwall 2. The power cut protection was quick enough to be considered a UPS, and it also comes with a 6 kilowatt inverter, whereas Tesla Powerwall only had a 5 kilowatt inverter. Give Energy were also willing to offer a 12 year warranty with a service plan compared to Tesla's 10 year warranty. And all in one also used lithium ferrophosphate instead of nickel manganese cobalt. LFP is largely considered to last longer and just generally be safer than NMC. But how does Give Energy's Powerwall 2 Slayer stack up against the big bad brother Powerwall 3. Well, we're going to take a very detailed look at that in this video. But if you'd like to skip to which part is most relevant to you, you can do that using the chapters in the description. Now, we also have a brilliant battery storage calculator on our website, which will allow you to model your own battery storage system for free. You can compare up to three different systems at once, including the Powerwall 3, the Give Energy All-in-One and a Victron system, for example. All you need to do is input your electricity usage and your electricity tariff, any details regarding your solar system if you've got one, and any details about your electric vehicles if you have any of those. You'll then get a very comprehensive report that will show you how the batteries will make a difference to your home and how they'll help you out financially, as well as how they'll perform alongside a smart tariff such as Octopus Flux. For Powerwall 3, Tesla kept the same 13.5 kilowatt hour storage capacity as for Powerwall 2, a decision which they say is based on electricity consumption data for homes across America and the UK. The all-in-one also has a 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity. With Powerwall 2, Give Energy had an advantage because they used lithium ferrophosphate battery cells, whereas Tesla was standing firm with nickel manganese cobalt. Tesla have now swapped over to LFP, which is considered to be a bit cheaper as well as more efficient and safer although NMC does have a higher energy density. LFP cells also perform better at lower states of charge and experience less thermal runaway and can therefore be cycled a lot more than NMC. So switching over to LFP is definitely a good decision. Tesla Powerwall 2 had a round trip efficiency of 90% which give energy comfortably beat by designing a system with 93% efficiency. However, Tesla Powerwall 3 has eclipsed this with a 97.5% round trip efficiency as a result of the hybrid inverter. So when it comes to the battery chemistry and capacity, the two are neck and neck. But what about when it comes to adding on more storage? Well, with give energy all in one and Tesla Powerwall 2, if you want more storage capacity, you'll need to install another battery, which is very expensive. But with Powerwall 3, Tesla will be releasing expansion packs, which are supposed to be coming later this year. These expansion packs will still be 13.5 kilowatt hours and will look very similar to Powerwall 3. However, they won't have the complex technology, such as the inverter and the solar MPPT trackers, which will allow Tesla to sell them at a much cheaper price. We don't have the pricing data yet, but we estimate that they'll be between £700 and £1,000 cheaper than a standard Powerwall 3. You can add up to three expansion packs per Powerwall unit, giving you up to 54 kilowatt hours of storage per Powerwall installed. The expansion packs should be very quick to install as Tesla have designed them to be plug and play. So advantage Powerwall 3. What about the inverter functionality? Well, the two are very different and have different use cases. Give Energies is a 6 kilowatt AC coupled inverter, whereas the Powerwall 3 inverter is DC coupled and can be set to anywhere between 3.68 kilowatts and 11.04 kilowatts. Powerwall 3 also has three solar MPPTs, which can handle three different solar arrays and over 18.5 kilowatts of DC input, which makes it the best single phase solar inverter on the market today. It can handle up to 170% oversizing, which is very useful, particularly if you get limited by the DNO, which we'll come on to later. So if you're looking to get solar at the same time, then Powerwall 3 is certainly the better option. However, if you already have solar, 
or don't need it, then the Give Energy system is going to be more than capable of running the house and you also won't be paying for any technology in the battery that you're not using. An important point, which is gonna become increasingly relevant over the next few years, is DNO permission. And this is a big plus point for Powerwall 3. As you'll know if you've watched our video series on DNO applications, and why they're first come first serve, then when you're looking to install a solar or battery system in the UK, you need to submit an application to your local distribution network operator. The DNO cares about the total inverter rating that you plan to install. And this is relevant to batteries because if you have an AC coupled system, like the all-in-one, then that inverter can only handle the battery storage aspect. You'll need a second inverter for any solar PV. But if you have a DC coupled inverter, like Powerwall 3 does, then that can handle both the solar and the battery. For example, if you want an 8 kilowatt solar system, as well as a Give Energy all-in-one, you'd need to apply for an 8 kilowatt solar inverter and the 6 kilowatt Give Energy inverter, which on the application would add up to 14 kilowatts. But if you go with Powerwall 3, you'll only have to apply for 8 kilowatts. Although in the case of Powerwall 3, the inverter can go up to 11.04 kilowatts. So you'd probably want to apply for that for the purpose of making the most of the technology. The advantage of DC coupling will be really handy when you get limited by the DNO. Let's say you get a bit unlucky and the DNO say that you can install a maximum inverter capacity of seven kilowatts on the single phase supply at your house. With Give Energy All-in-One, you'd be able to install that at six kilowatt inverter capacity, but then you'd only have capacity left for a one kilowatt solar system. Now, one option would be to install the alternative Give Energy All-in-One, which is just limited to 3.68 kilowatts. And you could then install a three kilowatt solar system as well, but that's a bit lame. With Powerwall 3, you'll be able to limit the inverter capacity to seven kilowatts and install up to 11.9 kilowatts worth of solar DC input because it can be oversized up to 170%. So what about tariff integration? Well, this is essential to the battery's ability to maximize your return on investment. And a huge advantage that Give Energy All-in-One has over Powerwall 2 is its ability to integrate with the most popular solar and battery tariffs in the UK, which are the Octopus Smart tariffs like Intelligent Octopus Flux and Intelligent Octopus Go. Tesla have now added Octopus integration to the Tesla Powerwall 3. So that will be able to maximize your savings as well as the Give Energy All-in-One can. Let's talk about the warranty. Well, Tesla are offering a similar warranty to that of Powerwall 2, namely an all-inclusive warranty that guarantees 80% retained capacity after 10 years. We were also told by Tesla that if anything goes wrong, they'll provide a replacement unit for free instead of faffing around trying to fix a problematic unit. Give Energy also have a 10 year warranty, but that only guarantees 70% retained capacity after 10 years. Give Energy's warranty can, however, be upgraded to 12 years, but you have to get the battery health checked in years five, eight and 10. For these warranties to apply, the systems must be installed and commissioned by either a Tesla certified installer or a Give Energy certified installer. Both batteries are capable of providing full house backup. This means that the entire house can be kept running in the event of a power cut. On a single phase supply, Tesla's gateway can disconnect a 100 amp supply from the grid. However, the Give gateway can only handle 80 amps. Now, this is more than enough to run your house, but if you install an all-in-one, your ability to draw from the grid, whether in a power cut or not, will drop to 80 amps on any loads that are backed up. When you're in backup mode, Tesla Powerwall 3 can back up up to 11.04 kilowatts and the Give Energy All-in-One can do up to six kilowatts. The All-in-One is certified as a UPS, which means it's an uninterruptible power supply and you won't notice the power cut as the Give Gateway will change over to backup mode in an instant. Now Powerwall 3 isn't a UPS. However, in most situations, you won't notice the power cut apart from the notification that will come up on your phone. When it comes to backing up the solar PV, Tesla Powerwall can back up the entire solar system that's plugged into it. It can also back up up to 7.6 kilowatts of AC coupled PV. Give Energy All-in-One can back up up to seven kilowatts worth of AC coupled solar. This brings me nicely onto talking about the apps and monitoring that are available with the different systems. 
Now with Give Energy, you'll get access to an online monitoring portal as well as the Give Energy app. They also have an open API that you can use to monitor and communicate with the battery, if you like. The API documentation is available online. A big caveat to the Give Energy monitoring is that it doesn't provide live data. It only updates every five minutes. Tesla Powerwall 3 can only be monitored using the Tesla app. This is a lot less clunky than the Give Energy one as it provides live data second by second. Both monitoring systems do provide detailed graphs showing the consumption, battery charge, solar generation, and how energy independent you are. You can also set your smart tariff details and the different battery modes in the app, as well as the minimum state of charge to leave for the event of a power cut. In the Tesla app, you can also set up the Stormwatch feature so that the battery will talk to local weather stations and charge up if it sees a storm on the horizon. It'll also allow you to go off grid. Just to run through some quick technical specs, in terms of physical size, they're very similar, although the Give Energy is a bit deeper. It's also much heavier at 173 kilos compared to the Powerwall 3, which is 130 kilos. Both units are rated to go indoors and outdoors, although Powerwall 3 is flood resistant up to two feet as a result of the body being laser welded. Powerwall is IP67 and all-in-one is IP65. The all-in-one has an operating temperature of minus 10 to plus 50 degrees, whereas Powerwall 3 can operate from minus 20 to plus 50 degrees. Powerwall 3 also has active thermal management, which will precondition the battery to make it as efficient as possible in severe weather conditions. Finally, let's talk about the price. And we're going to break this down into price with solar and price without solar. So to start with, how much are they to install by themselves with no solar PV system? Well, Powerwall 3 is available at around £7,750 fully installed. Give Energy All-in-One is available at around £7,550. Both systems should be fully installed within a day, assuming a relatively straightforward installation. When installed alongside solar PV, the prices do come down. This is typically because you can share the labour across the installation. And when the roof works are done, the roofers can come and help the electricians with the wiring and the cable running for the battery. When installed alongside solar, you're looking at around £6,900 for the Give Energy. And for Powerwall 3, you're looking at around £6,800 as it's a bit more straightforward. However, with Tesla Powerwall, you're also saving a lot by not needing to pay for the installation of a separate solar inverter which would tend to cost between £500 and £700 plus installation. So if you take that into account, then when installed alongside solar, the Powerwall 3 price would actually be between £5,300 and £5,600, which is a serious price difference. It's worth touching on the brand experience and the number of years that each manufacturer has had in the industry. Tesla have a great history with Powerwall 2 which proved to be incredibly reliable for eight years and managed to lead the battery market for a very long time despite being relatively old in terms of design. Give Energy has also proved to be very reliable and they're based in the UK, which is a bonus for UK customers. They're moving their manufacturing to their headquarters, which is near the north of the country. In terms of both companies being around in 10 years time to honor the warranties, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Both also have very good support lines and have stood the test of time when it comes to making very good and reliable products. So which is best? Well, there's no doubt the Powerwall 3 has taken the home battery industry into new territory with its revolutionary inverter. The fact that Tesla can offer it at such a competitive price point actually means that it's one of the best value for money batteries on the market today. That being said, the Give Energy system is also very comprehensive. And if you're looking for a battery only system, System, then it's definitely worth considering, particularly if you like the longer warranty and you want to buy British. When it comes to installing alongside a solar PV system, I do think the Powerwall 3 takes the crown because it's just so versatile and you can save a lot by not needing to pay for a second solar inverter. You can also install a much larger system as a result of the DC coupled inverter. I look forward to seeing what Give Energy come up with in response to Powerwall 3. And there's no doubt that these two companies are playing a huge part in driving the battery storage market forward, 
which is a win for everyone. Now, Spirit Energy have a brilliant knowledge bank that takes a deep dive into everything solar and battery. And you can compare all the battery systems by using our online battery storage calculator. Please take a look at the link in the description to see our knowledge bank.